Hello MTL, this is Derek Sager's Personal Musicianship Project Phase 4A, a video blog reflection on teaching someone in your practices. Uh, for f the A portion of my mu pro Personal Musicianship Project, I created a mashup, and if you saw my video for Phase 3, you saw that I taught my roommate Shayna to sing this mashup with me. So, going along with the questions that are on Moodle, um, what challenges are you finding? For me, the biggest challenge in teaching her this song was lining the two songs up. Since they were in the same octave, since she was actually singing a man's part, that was a big issue, especially since some of the times that we were singing together, it was a little more dissonant. And then there was also the issue of she knew the song, and she knew how it went, but she didn't wasn't quite familiar with it. Like It wasn't like her favorite song or anything like that. So altogether, just lining up everything was what well, was the biggest challenge. But other than that, it was simply just me singing with my friend while I played the piano, and it was, it was you know, a lot of fun. I had fun doing it, and I think she did too. Uh, question two is, what are you learning? I guess the big thing that I'm learning is that it's not enough just to say, ooh, can you do this? You know, it's harder to just say, I need you to do something like this, than it is to say specifically, you know, what I'm hearing is this, what I would, you know, like to hear is this, and what I would like you to do about it is this. So, like, one of the things that we worked on was, you know, octave displacement between my roommate's part, since she was singing the first half up an octave, and the second half down an octave. So, I wasn't sure originally what I wanted to do, so I had her sing it up the octave the whole time, and I didn't really like that, so I told her, you know, I'm having, you know, a hard time hearing it the way I wanted to when it's up the octave. So I think if you sing it down the octave, you know, I played through the part real quick, you know, what I wanted her to do, since there's, like, an awkward leap in there. And then next thing I know, it's working out just fine. And uh, question three is, how were you learning it? And for me, learning it was as I went, you know. I came up with this arrangement on my own. I said, here's what I want to do. Here are the two songs. Here's what I'm going to play. Here's what I want you to sing, when I want you to stop, when I want you to sing again, how it's going to sound at the end, you know. And then... I was just learning as I went, you know, oh, I didn't like this up the octave, so I'm just going to have you take it down the octave. Or, you know, maybe there was a part where she wasn't singing, but I wanted her to sing something else. And then maybe later I went, oh, I don't like that as much anymore. So, that's phase 4A. Can't wait for the next one.